things that our guys do a lot. Um, you know, we have ideas or certain projects that will come up, and you know, having a partner like Mauser, we jump right into their website and try to, because it's so well stocked with sort of individual, very specific components. Uh, last year, we made this really cool little test box for Matt and I to be able to test sensors with. And usually to test if a sensor is good or not, we'd have to power on the race car, plug, take our laptops and plug into the race car, and then our data system, we would be able to see what voltage uh, that sensor was. But now what we can do is we made this little test box with, with all Mauser uh, products and vendors, and, and we basically just made it so we can plug a sensor into this little test box, turn it on, and see if the sensor is outputting a good voltage or not. Fluid, fluid equipment is all we use for our testing. I mean, we each have uh, brand, brand new fluid multimeters, and then uh, we just recently purchased uh, some immersible fluid probes to take temperature of the fuel. That one's out of the race car. And there's kind of two ways to determine the volume of fuel. You can measure it by the gallon, or you can weigh it take the temperature, do some math, and then you can get a more accurate, more accurate uh, reading of, of volume. I would say 85% of Josh and I's job is troubleshooting electronic components. That's just the nature of the business. And the fluke multimeters are, that's all we use to troubleshoot. I mean, if we have an electronic issue, the first thing we must out is our fluke multimeter. Our fueler in this helmet has a little circuit board with 5R LEDs on it. And then there's a control box that runs those LEDs. We can use those LEDs to tell the fueler when to pull the fuel nozzle out of the car. The size and weight's everything in racing. I mean, as soon as you make it smaller and lighter, they want it smaller and lighter again. Yeah, we're and constantly being asked how we can remove weight from the race car because. A good majority of the weight on the race car is electronics related between the looms and connectors and all the different boxes we have to run and radios and things like that, antennas on the car. Antennas contribute to a lot of the drag that's on the car when it's going around the track. So, and then you know, all the connector weight, so the smaller the better yeah. on the car and off for that one. Yeah. You know, we use a lot of our technology, um, even just networking, um, the electronics with, uh, within our data analysis, computers, and, and how we use software. A lot of that is behind the scenes where people don't necessarily see that, but how we process the information, uh, the better and more efficient we can do that, the, the better we can make decisions and get you know changes made and, and improve the car. Because it's really, once you show up, it's a race to see who can improve their car the most. Thank <laughs> you.